In today's video, we're diving into the Richard Allen case, a case that has sparked widespread debate, especially after reports of his strange behavior in court. Now, while some YouTubers are quick to declare Allen guilty and spread information that supports the state's narrative, I'm here to offer some valuable insight that goes beyond speculation and actually adds depth to the discussion. Let's start with what happened in court. Richard Allen, who was at the center of a highly publicized case, was reported to have been acting very strangely during his appearance. He was seen staring at the ceiling, and with some even claiming he was glaring at the victim's families. To some, this might look like the actions of a guilty man, but there's an important detail that we need to consider. Allen was involuntarily injected with haloperidol. What is haloperidol and its effects? Haloperidol is a potent antipsychotic drug often used to treat severe psychiatric conditions. While it can be effective, it also comes with serious side effects. One of the more alarming reactions is something called oculogyric crisis, OGC. Oculogyric crisis is a rare neurological event where the eyes involuntarily roll upwards and get stuck in that position. This episode can last from seconds to several hours, but OGC isn't just about the eyes. It can also cause muscle spasms, severe discomfort, and intense psychological symptoms like agitation, confusion, and paranoia. Could Richard Allen have experienced oculogyric crisis? Considering Allen's reported courtroom behavior, staring at the ceiling and seeming detached, it's quite possible that he was experiencing an oculogyric crisis. This condition could explain why his actions appeared so unusual and why he seemed so disconnected from reality. If Allen was indeed in the midst of an OGC, it's likely that he wasn't fully in control of his actions or thoughts at that time. This brings us to his alleged confession. Could it have been influenced by the effects of haloperidol? There are numerous cases where individuals under the influence of powerful antipsychotic drugs like haloperidol have experienced altered mental states, leading to confusion, paranoia, and even false confessions. If Allen was affected by this medication, his confession might not reflect guilt, but rather the result of drug-induced impairment. The potential impact of heloperidol on Richard Allen's behavior and mental state is not just a theory. It's an informed perspective based on years of experience in the field. The bigger picture. If Richard Allen was indeed suffering from an oculogyric crisis during his court appearance and at the time of his alleged confession, it raises serious questions about the validity of that confession and his overall mental state. When powerful medications like haloperidol are involved, the truth is often more complex than it initially appears. As the case against Richard Allen continues to unfold, it's crucial to consider all the factors that could have influenced his behavior. Was his courtroom demeanor and alleged confession truly indicative of guilt, or is there more to the story?